What should people do when they get personal calls on their cell phones while at work? Everyone has a cell phone today, and those cell phones have had a big effect in the office. It used to be that there were no cell phones. People used office phones, and offices had no personal calls policies unless it was an emergency. The cell phone changed all of that. Of course, with having a cell phone comes the responsibility to use it appropriately. Here are six tips to keep your cell phone use for personal calls, texts, and social media from causing you a problem at the office. Number one, keep it with you at all times. Don't leave it sitting on your desk or work area while you step out. Rings, alerts, and vibrating noises can be very annoying to people around you. Number two, avoid the problem of coworkers being interrupted by your phone ringing by placing it on vibrate mode while at the office. Number three, if your phone does ring or vibrate, you can always send a personal call to voicemail and call back later on a break. That way your focus stays on your work. Number four, if you get a call and plan to answer it, leave the open area in your office and conduct the call where you won't disturb your coworkers. I've seen people taking personal calls in an empty conference room or office, or in a stairwell or hall, or even outside. Number five, Limit the number of times you answer or make personal calls. Coworkers and bosses will notice if you are repeatedly interrupted to take personal calls. And number six, if personal calls get heated or sensitive, ask to talk later. Your cell phone can be a great way to stay connected. Just make sure that you're in charge of it and it's not in charge of you. Etiquette Bites are brought to you by the Emily Post Institute. Thank you for watching.